Boost Mobile highlights. Let's go back to the top of the session. And the Seiko Watchtower showed us a green light and we get racing back underway after more than a three month absence for the Repco Supercars Championship. And true to form, 24 professional drivers fully committed to the task straight away as soon as they went out there. Very quick times. For some of them, they didn't even eclipse those times that they achieved in the first couple of laps. This is Anton Di Pasquale who ultimately ended up being the quick man at the end of it. No space at all available on the exit of the left-hander at turn seven. Slowest corner on the track down there at turn number eight. Little mistake here for Shane Van Gisberg and we saw him make a very tiny change to the brake bias percentage on the car and then he just locked those rears. This was just when he was rehearsing a better tyre on the car and then his engineer David Couchy wanted him to stay out there and get a read on the balance of the car and the grip as they progressed. Jamie Winkup, a bit of a near miss down here on the exit of turn one, trying to exploit every last millimetre. Here's the onboard, look at the understeer past the apex of the corner. And he comes right out of the throttle, grabs the opposite block, stays off the styrene signs, gets it back onto the black stuff and pulls it up at turn two, which has been resurfaced this weekend. And we'll confirm those session results for you. Practice number one done. Third of a second advantage for Di Pasquale over Cam Waters. So a couple of Mustangs at the top end of town and they're rehearsing starts in the background. You may be able to hear them. Beyond them, we've got Hazelwood, Winterbottom, Heimgartner, Kostecki, Van Gisbergen, followed by Jones, Great Lap, Davison, LeBrock and Fullwood just outside the top 10. So I made mention of the practice starts. Jamie Wincup's at the head of the queue here, and not a bad one. It bogged down a little as it gripped up. Fabian Coulthard is about to launch in the local Legends entry for Team Sydney. Tim Slade roars on by. It is literally making the grandstand shake. Gary Jacobson, Muscle Car Warehouse, and he's sitting out there alongside Macaulay Jones. And Mackers was a bit tardy to begin with. Shane Van Gisbergen is about to drop his car into position in what would be the second row of the grid. The Red Bull Ampol Racing entry. What's this one like? Off the Repco cable cam, it'll tell us the story. Watch those weir wheels. Uh, not bad. They'll measure that when they get back and look at the zero to 100 kilometres an hour. And in these conditions, that's pretty darn good. Anton Di Pasquale, fastest driver in the session. Just hurting the clutch, it sounded like a little bit when he first left. Will Davison, Chaz Mostert, and David Reynolds, the three drivers out there now doing their practice rehearse. So what the drivers do is pull up into position, get their minds in gear, and start their sequence. They find an ideal point in the throttle percentage. They find the bite point in the clutch. They load the car up against the handbrake. And then they rehearse in their minds, leaping away. And they've all put a lot of time, effort and study into trying to make this work as we pick up on David Reynolds through Turn 1.